Our mind is very powerful. What we think, we attract. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. What we put in our minds, we make happen. And yes, we can even do this with our money. That's why today, we'll show you how to train your mind to become rich. Stick with us and learn the lessons in this video. So, let's give some love to Luxo Life and let's get started. To begin, John Asaraf, who you might recognize from The Secret, is here to share his wisdom. He's helped millions of people achieve financial freedom and live extraordinary lives, appearing on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and many other media platforms worldwide. Just to clarify, we're basing the lessons in this video on his expertise. Number 1. Get clear on financial goals the first thing you have to do is relax and get clear with your financial goals. It's like plotting a course on a map before starting a journey. You need to know exactly where you want to go. So, take some time to think about how much money you really want to earn. Do you have a specific amount in mind? Maybe it's a yearly salary you're aiming for, or perhaps you're saving up for a big purchase like a house or a dream vacation. Whatever it is, be specific about your targets. Once you've got a clear picture of what you want, it's time to break it down into smaller, achievable steps. Think of it like climbing a mountain. You wouldn't try to tackle the whole thing in one go, right? Instead, you'd set yourself smaller goals along the way, like reaching a certain campsite before nightfall. It's the same with your finances. Break down your big goal into smaller milestones that you can work towards one at a time. Maybe you start by aiming to save a certain amount each month or by increasing your income by a certain percentage. Being specific about your financial goals also helps to keep you focused and motivated. It's like having a target to aim for. It gives you something concrete to work towards. So, rather than just drifting along and hoping for the best, you're actively working towards something that you really want. And when you hit those smaller milestones along the way, it feels amazing. It's like ticking items off to a to-do list. Each one brings you a step closer to your ultimate goal, and that's a great feeling. Number 2. Create Affirmations Next is to create affirmations. This might sound a bit woo-woo, but it's actually a powerful technique for reprogramming your mind. Think of affirmations as positive statements that you repeat to yourself regularly, like a mantra. They're a way of reminding yourself of your goals and reinforcing your belief in your ability to achieve them. So when it comes to your finances, you want to come up with affirmations that focus on abundance, success, and prosperity. When you're creating affirmations, it's important to keep them simple and specific. You want them to be easy to remember and to resonate with you on a deep level. So rather than saying something vague, like I want to be rich, try something more specific like I am attracting wealth and abundance into my life every day. The more specific you can be, the more powerful your affirmations will be. Once you've come up with your affirmations, the key is to repeat them regularly. It's like planting seeds in your mind. The more you repeat them, the more they take root and grow. So try saying your affirmations out loud every morning when you wake up or write them down and stick them somewhere you'll see them every day. The important thing is to make them a regular part of your routine so they become ingrained in your subconscious mind. Number 3. Practice Mental Rehearsal The third one is to practice mental rehearsal. What does it mean? Well, it's like creating a mental movie in your head where you visualize yourself achieving your financial goals. Close your eyes and imagine receiving the money you desire, whether it's in the form of a big fat check, a wad of cash, or seeing a hefty balance in your bank account. 
The key is to make the image as vivid and detailed as possible. Really immerse yourself in the experience. Why is mental rehearsal important? Because it helps to program your subconscious mind for success. You see, our minds are incredibly powerful. What we focus on, we attract into our lives. So, by regularly visualizing yourself achieving your financial goals, you're sending a powerful message to your subconscious that this is what you want. And the more you reinforce this message through mental rehearsal, the more likely it is to become a reality. It's like training a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. So, set aside some time each day to practice mental rehearsal. It doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out process. Even just for a few minutes can make a big difference. And remember, the more detail you can add to your mental movie, the more effective it will be. So really try to immerse yourself in the experience and feel the emotions of achieving your financial goals. Number 4. Use tools like budgeting and savings plans. You can also use tools like budgeting and savings plans to manage your money better. Think of budgeting as a roadmap to your finances. It helps you track where your money is going and make sure you're not overspending. By setting a budget, you can see exactly how much you have coming in and going out each month, and then allocate your income wisely to cover your expenses while still saving for the future. Budgeting isn't about restricting yourself or cutting out all the fun stuff. It's about being smart with your money and making sure you're spending it on things that really matter to you. So, sit down and take a good look at your expenses. Are there any areas where you could cut back? Maybe you're spending too much on takeout or subscription services that you don't really need. By identifying these areas and making small adjustments, you can free up more money to put towards your financial goals. Savings plans are another powerful tool for building wealth over time. They enable you to set aside a portion of your income each month towards future financial goals, whether it's buying a house, starting a business, or retiring comfortably. The key is to make saving a priority and treat it like any other bill, something that you have to pay before you spend money on anything else. Number 5. Develop Good Financial Habits of course, you also have to practice living what you want to become. Fake it till you make it, as they say. So, develop good financial habits that support your success. These habits are like the building blocks of your financial future. They lay the groundwork for achieving your goals and living the life you want. So, what are some of these habits? First, tracking your expenses is crucial. It's like keeping tabs on where your money is going, so you can make informed decisions about how you spend it. By knowing exactly how much you're spending and what you're spending on, you can identify areas where you might be overspending and make adjustments accordingly. This helps you stay within your budget and avoid living beyond your means. Investing wisely is another important financial habit to cultivate. It's like planting seeds that will grow into a bountiful harvest over time. Whether it's in stocks, real estate, or your own education and skills, investing allows you to put your money to work for you and build wealth over time. The key is to do your research, diversify your investments, and be patient. Good things take time to grow. Avoiding unnecessary debt is also crucial for financial success. It's like steering clear of quicksand. Once you're in it, it's hard to get out. While some debt, like a mortgage or student loans, may be necessary, it's important to avoid high interest debt, like credit card debt, whenever possible. By living within your means and only borrowing what you can afford to repay, you can avoid the pitfalls of debt and keep your finances on track. 
consistently saving or investing a portion of your income is the final piece of the puzzle. It's like building a nest egg for the future, something to fall back on when times get tough or to fund your dreams and aspirations. Whether it's putting money into a retirement account, setting up automatic transfers to a savings account, or investing in a diversified portfolio, making saving a priority ensures that you're always working towards your financial goals one paycheck at a time. Number 6. Prime your brain with affirmations and mental rehearsals. Lastly, it's important to prime your brain with affirmations and mental rehearsals to keep your financial goals at the forefront of your mind. This is like giving your brain a gentle nudge in the right direction, reminding it of what you want to achieve. So, regularly repeat positive affirmations related to your financial goals. It's like planting seeds of success in your mind, reinforcing your belief in your ability to achieve your objectives. Again, mental rehearsals are another powerful tool for keeping your financial goals top of mind. It's like running through a movie in your head, picturing yourself achieving your goals with vivid detail. By visualizing yourself reaching your desired financial milestones, you're programming your brain for success. So take some time each day to close your eyes and imagine yourself achieving your goals, whether it's receiving a big paycheck, paying off debt, or reaching a savings milestone. The key is to make affirmations and mental rehearsals a regular part of your routine. It's like watering a plant, if you neglect it, it won't grow. So set aside some time each day to repeat your affirmations and visualize your success. It could be the first thing in the morning, before bed, or during your daily commute, whatever works best for you. The important thing is to make a habit so it becomes second nature. And that's how you can make money by training your mind. If you've enjoyed and learned something today, give this video a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and spread the word to others. If you're new to Lux of Life, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. Catch you in the next video, Luxo lovers!